Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Sky Factory 4. Yes, Sky Factory 4 has just came out, the sequel, or I guess the follow-up to Sky Factory 3. I guess the sequel to Sky Factory was Sky Factory 2. This is the fourth iteration of Sky Factory, so I'm getting at, and it is out today. It just launched, and I am here coming to you, showing you how to download, install it, and get it in-game. First, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex Modded, you'll be able to get an incredible Sky Factory 4 server set up in just one click. So easy, I'm actually doing it on your screen right now. See me, one click, boom, setting up a Sky Factory 4 server. Very, very quick and very, very easy to do. Apex is the best Minecraft server host out there. We actually use them to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. That's how much we love them, and that is how much we trust Apex Minecraft hosting. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded for an incredible 24-hour DDoS picked in Minecraft server running Sky Factory 4 or anything else you want. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. First and foremost, you do need to download the Twitch launcher to download Sky Factory 4. You might be like, what is that, Nick? Why do I need the Twitch launcher for Sky Factory? Well, that's because it is hosted on the Twitch launcher, so you you can check out the Twitch launcher at the second link down below, and it will take you here. Where you see this download Twitch app for Windows button, click on that little download for Windows icon right there, and it will go ahead and begin to download in the bottom left. You may have to keep the file. If you do, just go ahead and click keep down there. It's safe to download as long as it starts with Twitch, but once you've got it downloaded, we can minimize our browser, and here on our desktop is the Twitch setup. If this isn't on your desktop, you can click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left click on that and then type in downloads right like so and it'll be here in your downloads folder you can drag the twitch app from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use nevertheless to install the twitch app just simply double click on it and then go ahead and click the install button right here see that purple install button click on that purple install button and it'll install just like any other app it'll throw a nice shortcut on your desktop and open up the twitch launcher now you will need to go ahead and actually log into your twitch account now, i've already logged into my twitch account but you will need to log into your twitch account this is a very easy process you just either create a free Twitch account or use the same Twitch account that you use to watch all of your favorite streamers. The same account will work here as this is the official Twitch app. Once you're here on the Twitch app homepage, go ahead and click on the mods tab over here. And then once you're here, you'll have Minecraft, except your Minecraft won't be all green. It'll be blurred out like one of these. You need to find Minecraft in this list. For example, if we click on Stardew Valley here, you will see that it needs to like install the game. You'll have a purple install button in the bottom center of the screen, exactly like that button, except it'll be in the bottom center and it'll say install. Click on that button and then you'll land on a page like this. From here you want to click on the browse mod packs button right there and then you want to go ahead and in this search bar right over here on the right hand side of the Twitch app type in Sky Factory and it's actually not popping up because Sky Factory is all one word. What a new mistake, Nick. There we go. Sky Factory 4 and hit enter and it will go ahead and pull this on up. There it is. Took a second, but there it is. Sky Factory 4. As you can see, we've searched it all one word. So if you can't pull it up, that's what you need to do. You just need to search Sky Factory all one word. And then there it is. Sky Factory 4. And I'm going to say I really do like really do like that background like that's a good app icon but nevertheless go ahead and click on install that purple install button on sky factory 4 there and it will go ahead download and install sky factory 4 this is going to take a while because there are over a hundred mods in sky factory 4 and just like with anything in mod packs whether it's opening it for the first time starting a server it's actually 200 mods that's insane but nevertheless because of that it's going to take a while to download so i'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until it's downloaded and we'll be good to go there we go sky factory 4 is now downloaded how do you know it's done well one the the downloading bar went away but also there's a purple play button here where that install button was when we click on that purple play button it will open up the normal minecraft launcher that we all know and love and it'll probably look like this if you've never ran a mod pack with a twitch app this is what it will look like and you'll need to log into your minecraft account so let me go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll be good to go. There we go, now we are logged right on in, and once we're logged right on in, we can see down here at the bottom it does say Sky Factory 4. Now if you click the little green arrow, you will see Sky Factory 4 if it doesn't say it under the play button, so make sure you just click that little green arrow and then select Sky Factory 4. Now, you could go ahead and smack that play button, but it's very likely that Sky Factory will crash during launch or that it just won't run right once you're in game, it'll be all laggy and stuff, and that's because you need to add more RAM. To do this, click the three lines up here in the top right right and then click on launch options once you're there you need to click on sky factory 4 and then you can come down here to where it says xmx 3222 
8 and change that to quite a bit. I mean, there are over 200 mods in this. I would recommend running this with at least 6 gigabytes of RAM, which is going to be like 66, 28 RAM there. But I'm actually going to up this to 86 hundred megabytes of RAM, which is a lot. That's probably overkill, but I just want to get everything launched pretty quick with the video and everything. So because of that, I'm doing with eight gigabytes of RAM. If you have less than like eight gigabytes of RAM, I wouldn't re recommend running Sky Factory with less than five gigabytes of RAM, which would be like 5,200 right here at the beginning. So you could do that. However, I'm going to go ahead and do 8628 for our RAM there, which is like eight-ish gigabytes of RAM. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so you can see in game. Then we can go ahead and click save, then click on the news tab. Again, click that little green arrow next to the play button, select Sky Factory 4, and click play. Now, if you get an error during launch and it says unable to launch Sky Factory and it takes you back to the Minecraft launcher, just go ahead and click play again or launch again, and it will be good to go. Sometimes that happens. Additionally, it might just take a while to show up, which is what you just saw happen as well. It took quite a while to get everything up and get everything one working to even start the game. So nevertheless, it's now loading up a Sky Factory 4, and I will see you on the Sky Factory 4 main menu. Actually, one more thing I want to mention here is that if it like turns white or acts like it's about to crash or something like that, no worries. That's perfectly fine. It'll most likely not crash, right? So if you start to get like a spinning wheel of your mouse and it turns the entire Minecraft game white, it looks like it's gonna crash, but it's not. However, if it does crash during startup, you'll see right here, it will have ran out of memory used. And if that's the case, you just need to add more RAM to Minecraft, assuming your computer has enough RAM. If it doesn't, unfortunately, you can't play Sky Factory 4. But nevertheless, I will go ahead and again, see you on the Sky Factory 4 main menu. So here we are in Sky Factory 4. We can go ahead and click on single player here and then just create a new world just to jump right on into it. As you can see, there's all sorts of different biomes and everything that you can set up and whether or not you want the tutorial or just the normal Sky Factory, whatever you want to do, we can actually, let's see, let's go ahead and just jump into the normal Sky Factory world here, and I'll throw it in creative just uh, just for ease of use, basically. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Now, just with everything, that took about 15 minutes for that to start up and get everything working there, so it's going to take a while to start up, and with the same token, it's going to take a while to start your first Sky Factory 4 world. So I will go ahead, see you once everything is loaded up, and we are officially in Sky Factory 4. And here we are in game. Sky Factory. It's actually really cool how they've kind of put this one in space. And I think that's one of the uh, more different themes of this one. I think space is kind of part of the theme. But if we click over here, we can see all of the different stuff in game here with just enough items as well as all of the, the stuff in the creative menu. I mean, look at all of that. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. Android parts? That's insane. So there you have it. You now know how you can play Sky Factory 4 in Minecraft. Want to know how to start a Sky Factory 4 server? Well, we have an in-depth tutorial coming up showing you exactly how to start your very own Sky Factory 4 server. You can also check out Apex Minecraft hosting. Again, the first link down below to get a Sky Factory 4 server in just one click. And if you like Skyblock style setups on our server, play.breakdowncraft.com, we have a 100% custom Skyblock that you will absolutely love. So come play with us on Play breakdowncraft.com as well. All of that information is in the description. Anyway, my name is Nick and this has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoy Sky Factory 4. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and I'm out. Peace.